Hi, Lenny Bianchi for Five Star Security. To protect our customers, I've spent 20 years researching monitoring stations, and I've literally traveled the country. I've flown out to California to visit American Two-Way. I've driven up to New York to visit Rapid Response. I've done business with COPS Monitoring in New Jersey, CMS in Florida, Alarm Watch in Baltimore, Security Watch Central in Tennessee, Security Central in North Carolina, and a few others. I evaluate monitoring stations based on three primary criteria. First, I need to see the station. I want a comprehensive tour. I'm looking for signs that this is a well-run business, that things seem to be happening smoothly, or employees on task. And speaking of those employees, are they coming up to me with a big smile and welcoming me? Or are they kind of just walking past me with eyes straight ahead? Because I know that's how they'll treat my customers. Of course, I want to see the nerve center where the operators are taking the incoming calls. One of the stations I mentioned, I won't say which one, actually enjoys a very good reputation for their response time. But when they took me to where their operators were, I was shocked. They were sitting around card tables. You know what I mean? Four by four foot, folding leg, kind of rickety card tables. And they weren't wearing headsets, but were using receiver type telephones. So this one might hear information that that one repeats and sensitive information could be compromised. Even though that station enjoyed a good reputation for their response time, I knew if any of my customers saw a picture of what I was looking at and thought, wow, that's where Five Star is monitoring my system, their level of confidence in me would drop to the floor. So that ruled them out. The second primary criterion that I look at when evaluating a monitoring station is the owner. Hopefully it never happens, but if something should ever go drastically wrong, I need to be sure the owner is a person I feel totally comfortable with. We could sit down at the table and work things out reasonably. Again, one of the stations I mentioned, I won't say which one, the owner comes out to meet me. Very nice guy, dressed in, I don't know, maybe a $3,000 suit. Pretty nice. He's puffing on a cigar and bragging to me about the fact that he has five cell phones. I'm not making this up. I thought, this guy lives in a different universe than I do. I'm a pretty down-to-earth guy. I knew if there was ever a serious problem here, there was little chance that this guy and I would see eye to eye, and it ruled them out. The third primary criterion I look at when evaluating a monitoring station is their response time. Of course, they'll all tell me what the response time is based on their statistics, the shift, time of day, that sort of thing, but that's really meaningless to me. I have to find out what their response time is. So I'll say, give me a sample account number I can play with for a month or so, and the phone number to the receiver for that account number. Over the course of the month, I'll randomly send them 15 to 20 alarm signals and use my stopwatch to time their response each time. I start my stopwatch when I set the alarm off, and I stop it when the phone rings with their response. After averaging all their times together, I come up with a reliable response time for that station.